Let's get warmed up for boot camp. Go ahead and jog it out. Bring those knees up a little bit. Get those feet off the floor. Start pumping those arms. Good, all right, feet pretty narrow. We got narrow, shoulder width, and sumo. Keep it going. We got two more times through. Last one. Good, all right, step out to that side, hold it here, push down on that thigh. Two more. Step it in, reach up tall, and other side. Really push down on that thigh, get that stretch, get yourself to go lower. One more, step it center, reach up tall. Good, arm circles back. And forward. Torso twist. Plant those feet. It's a torso twist, not a whole body twist. Feet together, but now touch those toes, bobbing up and down. Good, stay down, hop into that plank. Rock it out, forward and back. Bring that right leg in, hands to the inside, hip up, and then push down. Bring that back knee to the ground. Good, back to plank, rock it out. Left leg up, hands to the inside, move those hips. Back to plank, rock it out. Down dog, step to those hands. Jog it out. Arms straight out, little circles back. Keep that jog going. Circles forward, keep them little. Take it back, get them a little bit bigger. Forward. Even bigger yet, take it back. Take it forward. Awesome job, let's get going with boot camp. Let's get started, circuit one, exercise one, jumping spider. We're in that high plank position and we are jumping that same side of the body foot to that same side of the body hands. Down in that high plank position, here, 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 here. Modify it, just step and tap out. If you're going hard and you realize you need that break because we still got 30 seconds left, then slow it down. Add a little hop to it, okay? You'll probably see me do that as well. No shame in it, you are still moving and you are still doing the exercise I want you to do. Exercise two, we need a resistive band. That's the one with handles. We have a single arm alternating bent over a row. So I'm gonna have both my feet here in the center. We got a slight bend in the knees, I'm hinging forward. I'm gonna have to wrap mine a little bit. And single arm, bend on the row. Little side view, here we go. When I said I'm gonna have to wrap mine, I'm not holding on the handle, I'm creating a little bit more resistance by wrapping around that handle and actually grabbing onto the band 
instead of onto just the handle by itself, okay? Third one, why'd I throw that away? You need your band still. We're gonna do single, single, double bicep curls. With this one, you have the option to be right dead center of your band with just one foot, or you can have them both there, but single, single, double with a little hold, okay? The single is just curl like regular, the double, hold up at the top, and then slowly release that band down, okay? Notice how tucked in tight my upper arms were to my torso the entire time. That's what you're really gonna activate those biceps, okay? Now I can throw the band away. Those are the three moves. This is circuit one. One minute on the clock. Jumping spider to start. Three, two, one, go! Your goal is trying to keep that foot nice and flat, right by that hand. Instead of just tapping, see how my heel's up off the ground? Get that foot nice and flat. See if you can bring it up to that hand. Good job, let's keep going. You got 20 seconds down, 40 left. Keep moving. Remember what I said, modify it. Just tap that foot out or add those bounces. Come on, let's go, just keep moving. It burns, I know, let's go. Three, two, one, bring it up, good job. All right, single arm alternating bent over row. Step in the middle, knees bent, here we go. I really hope you guys listen to music when you watch these videos. <laughs> I clearly do. You guys have seen that little blue light in my ear, my headphones in. You gotta have music. You gotta pump yourself up. Sometimes I forget I have them in and you guys don't know what I'm listening to. So I dance. Already halfway, let's go. Use that upper back, pull, pull. Tell yourself your back's pulling it. Not your grip, not your fingers, not your wrist. Let's go. Keep that flat back. Don't slowly stand up tall. Let's go, we're hinged. Three, two, one. Good, bring it up. If you need to let go of that band a little bit, relax. Remember, we're still with the band. Single, single, double. Go. What did I say on that double? We hold. Good. Good job. Switching it up today using bands as much as we can. Bands are a great, great workout. They're a cheaper option than dumbbells. You still got that great resistance. Good job. Fifteen seconds left, and then back to those jumping spiders. But we're down to forty-five seconds. Last three, two. One, good job, you got 10 seconds. Set that band to the side, time for those jumping spiders again. It's only 45 seconds, you just did a minute, so no excuses to stop, ready? Go! Good job, keep it moving, keep it moving. You are halfway right now. I know those arms are feeling that band work we just did, but keep yourself up, let's go. 10 seconds left, come on, I'm right here with you, let's go. And 
time. Grab that band. Back to that bent over row. Alternate one arm at a time. Three, two, one. Let's go. Halfway. Stay hinged over. Knees are bent for stability. Push those hips back, flat back. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Good. Stand up tall, roll shoulders back. Be ready for that single, single double bicep curl. Three, two, one, begin. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. I don't know if I'm just sore from my other workout. Woo, these bands are no joke, you guys. Good job. Hold at the top of that double curl. Ten seconds left. You got this. This is the easy part. Four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, jumping spider. Thirty seconds. We're gonna go as hard as we can. All thirty seconds. Okay. Here we go. Four, three. Take it down and go. Come on, keep that pace, keep that pace. 10 seconds left, let's go. Don't give up, don't give up. Last five, come on. Three, two, one. Awesome job, way to push. Grab that band again. Bent over row. Ready, begin. Last 10. Three, two, one. Bend down, reset, roll those shoulders back. Get ready for those biceps. We'll go on five. Three, two, one. Begin. This is it. Last exercise of circuit one. Then we'll move on to circuit two. Last five, come on, this is it. Three, two, one, awesome job. All right, that's circuit one. You know the drill by now. We've been at this for months. I'll see you back here for circuit two. Let's get going to circuit number two. Exercise one is double jacks. You just double those jumps at every position of a regular jumping jack, okay? Exercise two, we go back to that band. You have a shoulder press with a quarter squat, okay? So you need to step into the middle of your band and then push your feet out so those feet are right at shoulder width. Pull that band up so your palms are facing forward. Quarter squat, shoulder press. Quarter squat, shoulder press. When I say quarter squat, you can do this. Or if you wanna do a deep squat, you totally can. It's completely up to you. But I'm more worried about that shoulder press. So if you only wanna take the quarter squat, go for it. Last one we need dumbbells for. We have a reverse lunge within around the world. So you need to hold those dumbbells right about the abdomen with your palms facing up every time, the entire time. You're gonna step back with the leg around the world, make that semicircle. 
and then bring it back. Just like so. So we will alternate legs every time. So don't keep stepping back with the same leg, okay? All right, double jacks. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Way better than those jumping spiders, am I right? Come on, we gotta get that heart rate back up. shoulder press. If you're struggling to extend those arms, get rid of the band or go grab a lighter one. There is no point in continuing to do this if you can only get that band here. That's not what I want, okay? Get a lighter band, lose the band, or grab dumbbells, okay? 20 seconds left. Grab your dumbbells. Reverse lunge with around the world. Remember, those dumbbells are here. Palms up right by the abdomen and go. Good. Hold that lunge for the around the world. And then step it back in. Shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Twenty seconds left, and then we go through everything again, down to forty-five second intervals. Three, two, one. Good job. Finish out where you are. Get set for double jacks. Let's keep working on those shoulders, shall we? Ready? Go. Oh, yes.
Drop it, those arms up overhead. As straight as you can get them, okay? Remember, if you're struggling, lose it. Lose the bands, go grab some weights or go lighter. Four, three, two, one. Good job, grab those dumbbells. Reverse lunge around the world. Palms are up, weights are close. Three, two, one, begin. Job, make sure you are in that steady lunge position before you even start raising those arms up, okay? Core stability first. Last 10. Three, two, one. Good job, weights away. Double jacks. 30 seconds. Last time you have to do any of these. We got this. Three, two, one. Duck it out. Job, we're already halfway. You have them getting low, I challenge you. Get low. Ready? Begin. Last ten. Good job. All right, lunges. Three, two, palms up and go. Last five, three, two, one. Great job, I'll see you back here for circuit three. You guys, I went to go grab my water bottle, take a drink after that circuit, and my shoulder said, put me down. You don't get any water, that hurt too much. Hope you're feeling the same way. Let's get ready for circuit three, no shoulders. First exercise, shuffle and listen for me, and I'm gonna say drop, and you get down. You can either hold that high plank position or you can lay down on the ground. You can take a little nap, but as soon as I say up, you jump right back up and we shuffle those feet again, okay? Exercise two, resistant band, glute, bridge, raises. So I got a heavier band here, because what we're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it around your waist so that way we can pull those handles away from us in the back. And we're gonna be down in that glute bridge position but working against the resistance that we're creating with this band, okay? So I cross that band, we're here, and you pull on those handles, okay? Pull to create that resistance. The band is pulling you down, but your glutes and hips say, uh-uh, I'm going up, okay? So work against that resistance for me. And then our last one is a back and forth squat. Basically moving squat jumps. You're going to load up, go here, and then you're going to load back and squat, okay? Whatever you got to do with your arms, flail around, but we're jumping forward, we're squatting, we're jumping back, we're squatting. That one you can totally modify by stepping forward 
and squatting, and then stepping back and squatting, okay? As long as you're squatting, basically, we're golden. All right, let's go ahead and get set for a shuffle and drop. Listen for me, okay? Three, two, shuffle right away, and go. Down. Up. Drop. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Job. Push against that resistance. You're making this as hard as you want it to, okay? You're the one holding the band. You're the one controlling that extra resistance. Good job. Good job. Squeeze those glutes. Let's go. Almost there. Very good, time's up. All right, back and forth squats. Jumping forward, squatting, jumping back or leaping or stepping back, whatever you gotta do. Three, two, one, go. Good. You kind of jump into that front squat, and when you're leaping backwards, land first and then squat. Save those knees. Fifteen seconds left. And then we're back to that shuffle and drop. Yes, cardio after cardio. Three, two, one. Very good, you're ready to shuffle and drop. 45 seconds. Listen, it's when I say drop or down. That's the only time you go down. Three, two, one, shuffle. Banana. I got somebody, I know I did. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Quick, 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 quick. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Resistant band. Three, two, one. Begin. Good 
Got higher intensity. Those toes are off the ground. Our heels are powering us up. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, and then relax when you lower. Let's go. Keep hold on that band. Those arms need to work out too. Let's go. Drop almost there. Pull the bands, pull the bands, good, time's up. Back and forth squat. Four, three, two, one, go. left. Last five. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, shuffle and drop. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Shuffle. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, great. Aha. Down, up, down, up, three, two, one. Grab that band, excellent job. Squeeze them. Let's go. Almost there. Almost there. Three, two, one. Good job. Back and forth squats. This is it. Last exercise of circuit three. We're going three, two, one. Begin. dumbbell and a mat. Last and final circuit, circuit four. First exercise is ski abs. So we're in that high plank position. Your feet are close together, your legs are close together, and we are jumping with knees bent from the right side back to the center and then out to the left. So normally when we do those skis, that's exactly what I want you to do, but we're just down in that high plank position. So we're going to be here and then to the side, to the center, and then to the side, okay? But, yes, this is a leg workout. Yes, this is gonna burn your shoulders. But I want you to tell yourself that lower abdomen, that's what's pulling those legs in. So contract that core, pull that belly button back tight, every jump out, okay? Second exercise, we're gonna do single leg knee pulls. So we're gonna be laying flat on the ground, head and neck up off the ground, just pulling one knee into the chest at a time, extending the other leg straight out, not letting it touch the floor. You'll be able to go at your own pace for this, you can also use this as a stretch if you kind of need to tone it down a little bit. Do whatever works for you. The single leg knee pulls is exercise two. Exercise three is oblique side bends. Grab that heavy dumbbell. We got our arm a little teapot going on. Halfway through, I'll call time. And we'll switch over to the other side, okay? All right, ski abs. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Three, two, one, go.
Drum. I am contracting my core every time my legs move. Don't worry about that steady plank position. Your hips will be up in the air and that is okay. Just under halfway, you guys. Good job, 10 seconds left. Guys, it is so hot in here. My hands are sliding all over this floor. Three, two, one, good job. All right, single leg knee pulls are next. Head and neck off the ground, here we go, pull. Good, that's it. If you need to rest your head and neck, you can. Your core just works a little bit harder with your head and neck off the ground. Go at your own pace. Just keep that leg extended out and off the ground. Halfway. Last 10, come on. Three, two, one. All right, oblique side bends. We'll switch at 30 seconds in this first round. Three, two, one, go. You don't have to have your hand up here. I just do. You can take it down to the side. Plant those feet into the ground. So the only thing moving is those sides, those obliques. Three, two, one, other side. Guys, I'm not kidding you. It is so hot in here today. I don't know why. The floor has like dew on it. it feels like I'm outside in the morning. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Good job. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, you sweat a lot. It's probably just because we're on circuit four. No, it was like this when I got in here. Ski abs. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, pull that core in. Pull that core in. Twenty seconds left. Slipping in a slide and again, but I'm still going. Last three, two, one. Very good. Get that for those single leg knee pulls. Good job, your abs are pulling those legs in, and once they're there, that's when you pull it. Don't pull your knee in too early. 
Let your core work. Three, two, one. Oblique side bends. We'll switch halfway through, so this one's gonna get quicker. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Good job. Don't fly through these. Feel that crunch in the opposite side and you're holding the weight in. Three, two, one. Switch and go. Last three. Two, one, good job. All right, ski abs. 30 seconds is gonna go by quick. Use that lower abdominal, pull those knees in. Ready, go. I'll see what I can do to get them up on our YouTube page. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day.